Hi. So I'm gonna wait for a couple of followers to come in. So it's just 12 o'clock now. Hello. Okay, people are starting to come in now. I'm just gonna give some people a couple of minutes to join. My name's Amory Bruska, and I'm a museum educator at the Hofstra University Museum of Art. I'm so happy that you guys could join me today virtually on our first Instagram Live. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes for people to get started. So everyone should have their worksheets with them. It kind of looks like this, it was in our story, you could screenshot too. And if you wanted to print out, it's also on our website. Hello. Oh, hi, Nancy. <laughs> Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope everyone could get a chance to exercise their creativity, take a break from their new normal and everyday lives. <laughs> Hi Liz. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it another minute for everyone to join. Hi Teresa. <laughs> So someone asked what supplies you need. So I'm gonna go over that in about a minute. It's really anything that you have at home. The main things that you need is, I'm using my sketchbook, but you could use paper or canvas that you have at home, really anything, and a pencil. And if you have any colored pencils at home or markers, <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get started. So for anyone who missed it, my name's Amory Bruska and I'm a museum educator at the Hofstra University Museum of Art. This is our first Instagram Live, so I'm ho so happy that you guys could join us. So we're gonna do an abstract roll and draw project today. Does anyone know what the word abstract means? So abstraction means the freedom of representational qualities in art. In other words, you get to bend the rules and that's my favorite part about it. So our roll and draw project was inspired today by Uncharted. Our current exhibition is called American Abstraction in the Information Age. This is one of our works of art by Gilbert Shaw called Galaxy 64. It's one of my favorite pieces. Um, if you look at it, it kind of looks like an optical illusion and that the image is actually moving but it's really just a flat piece of wood with a cutout circle in the center. So you could really, you could use some of the colors and lines and shapes if you want, inspired by this piece of work. And then um, you could really make it your own. That's the best part about abstract art. Everyone's uh, work is gonna be different. So we're all gonna roll different numbers and land on different things. So this is one possibility that I made, just a sample, and you could really make it your own. So let's get started. Everyone have their, you could use a sketchbook, piece of paper, um, really anything, canvas, construction paper that you have at home, and you're gonna need your worksheet to follow along. So I'm gonna be rolling different numbers, so yours is gonna come out different than mine, and that's totally okay, because everyone's is gonna be unique and that's gonna be uh, really fun. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so I'm gonna have my colored pencils on hand too, and also a black Sharpie marker that we're gonna outline things with. And I also just had some other colored markers too around the house. You could really use any supplies that you have on hand. I know we're all home and might have limited stuff. And then I also had this really cool tape. Um, it's called like washi tape, it's glitter. I feel like we'd all, we could all use a little glitter right now, so why not? <laughs> if you have uh, colored paper or like scrapbooking pattern paper, you could cut those up into strips and add those at the end, glue it or tape it down. It's really totally up to you. So if you don't have a dice at home, so I don't have a dice in order to roll, so I have a dice app in the app store. It was totally free, I just downloaded it, and if you tap it, it rolls it for you. So that's really gonna come in handy. 
Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yes, glitter is good. <laughs> everyone loves a little glitter. <laughs> So if you have all your supplies ready, I'm going to get started. You could follow along or totally um, just follow along right now and do this later with everyone. It's really up to you. So for the first roll, I rolled a two. So I'm going to go down to my first roll and I rolled this like squiggly circle coil shape. So I'm going to put that pretty big on my paper. You want that to be a focal point. So I'm drawing that pretty big. It does not need to be perfect. <laughs> kind of looks like the Milky Way in a way. Hi everyone. <laughs> and so the next roll, I rolled a five. So if you go down to your paper, that's kind of this like squiggly coil shape. And you want to really fill up your page. So I'm going to add a couple of those lines. They could go off the paper. They could overlap. It's really totally up to you. So I got a lot of stuff going on right now. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> and so for my next number, I got a four. So if I go down to my third roll, four, so that's this kind of like starburst shape. For these next couple of rolls, you really want to draw more than one. So you fill up your page and you have lots of images on it. So it kind of looks full. And these shapes are just totally made up. If you want to make up some of your own too, like go for it. You could totally make it your own. So I'm just gonna add these like flying, Looks like a flying baseball kind of thing. This looks very galaxy to me, so I'm liking this. It's kind of like outer space. How are you guys doing? <laughs> so for my next one, I rolled a five. So I'm gonna go down to five, and it's kind of this mustache shape. So <laughs> I'm gonna add a couple of those in. If you're having if you're having trouble like drawing some of these like this is a kind of like a funky shape so mine's not going to be exact and that's okay. This kind of like funky mustache guy and I'm going to have it go off the paper too. So that's what I have so far. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and then my next roll, I rolled a 3. So that's this triangle shape right here. Even my nails have a little nice like um, abstract art. So you can find inspiration anywhere, even on your nails. And so I'm gonna add a couple of those triangle shapes now and really fill up my page because this is my last roll that I had. So I'm gonna do another one here and that's what my paper looks like so far and i'm doing this all in pencil right now so we could go over it in black marker next and so then if you want if you're not happy with it and you want to fill in some more space um, you could also add in things that you wish you had rolled so i like this kind of star shape right here and i didn't land on that so i'm gonna add that in in a couple of spaces uh, maybe put another star here and one here so that's what my paper looks like i'm happy with it right now so i'm going to grab my black marker and start going over it And if you don't have a Sharpie at home, you could use any other black marker. If you have a colored marker that you want to use, go for it. It's totally up to you. So I'm going pretty fast right now, but you could take your time. And if you have an eraser at the end too, you could go over your pencil marks and erase it. And I'm going to add some starbursts here and go over that 
And then my little mustache. And then add a circle. So I'm just going over. I think that the black line adds some depth to it and makes it look more contrast when you colored it in too. Oh, hi, Jana. <laughs> And also, if you wanted, you could also um, add some texture into it. So I'm going to see what pattern I land on. So I landed on four. So that's this kind of like graffiti type looking um, print. You could totally make one up yourself as well. So I'm going to add some of those. It's just like kind of crazy lines in it. And it kind of makes it look cool if you have another texture or pattern into your print. That's really the good thing about this. Everyone's is gonna to be totally different and unique no matter what you do. And I'm gonna add some more here. So totally random. You could just do it however you liked. I filled in some of these shapes. Oh, thanks, my floral backdrop. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue outlining in black. There we go. And then once you're done outlining in black, I'm gonna add some color. So I'm gonna take a colored Sharpie. Hi, for everyone who just joined, we are doing the roll and draw abstract art. So I'm, I'm pretty much done and I filled up my paper with the elements that I rolled. So if you want to follow along or you could start over with us right now i'm adding some color to mine so i'm just going over it has anyone made abstract art before <laughs> and i'm also going to color in some of my shapes with my colored pencil as well And I picked just some of my favorite colors. You could choose like three or four of your favorite. So I went with this kind of like purple orange scheme with mine. And it's kind of nice if you stick with a couple of colors in the same hue, so then it uh, kind of blends well together. And, hi. <laughs> Yeah, abstract art is totally fun. It could be whatever you'd like, and that's the best part of it. So I'm gonna add some of this glitter now because I wanna just add some sparkle. And you could add it really wherever you want. So I'm just gonna even make up a shape on my paper and add it because that's the best part. And I'm gonna add some here. And if you don't have any glitter tape, you could totally take some um, construction paper if you have it in different colors or patterns and cut some up. I'm just gonna add some lines here and maybe outline some more of my lines in color. And outline that guy. So you guys could do this however many times that you want. <laughs> yes, you gotta get some bling. <laughs> and so this is what mine looks like so far. I did it pretty quick, but you could take your time with it. And every single time that you do it, it's gonna come out different. That's the fun part about the roll and draw. You're all gonna roll different numbers and land on different elements to add to your paper. So if you want to share your artwork with us, you could use the hashtags uh, Hume at Home, Hofstra University Museum at Home, or Huma from Home. And we'd love to see what you guys create. You could tag us too, tag our page in the picture that you post. Um, we really want to see what you guys create. And if there's any questions right now, I'll take some questions. Hi. 
yeah, you could totally make a collage idea out of this. And if you wanted to add any other um, elements to it that you had around the house, if you had any buttons or tape, you could go crazy with it. Yeah, I would t totally frame it when you're done. I love this one and it kind of matches my backdrop a little. So, and you could hold it really whichever way you want. So I'm like, I don't know if I like it better, horizontal or vertical. So my name of the Dice app is, it's just called Dice. I just typed in Dice in the App Store on Apple and it was one of the first ones that came up. And these are the hashtags if you want to share. Yep, Huma at home or Huma from home. We also posted these on our last couple of Instagram posts. If you forget it or if you want to screenshot this or just write it down quick. Yes, please send us pics. <laughs> and also this is going to be recorded. So um, we're going to hopefully uh, put this maybe on our website or add it to our story for anyone who couldn't join. <laughs> Notification popped up. <laughs> Hi. So if you guys really enjoyed this roll and draw project, we're going to have um, more roll and draws coming your way. And one of our other options is called a monster roll and draw. And one of your possibilities could be Cleo the Cloud. <laughs> and you could write a story about it, come up with your name for it. This I kind of just created with things that I drew. And um, share this with your class, your family, your friends. This is all going to be on our website too, the worksheet in case you missed the abstract roll and draw. And yeah, if anyone has any other questions, I'll take those. Please share your work with us. I really want to see it and see what you guys create in this crazy time. We all need a creative outlet. And thank you so much for joining. I hope to see you all soon. Bye, guys. Okay.